Previously on Mikey Makey. Mikey installed LED strip lights onto the desk in his home office. He soldered, taped, and hot glued until finally the task was done. He plugged it in and it worked. He had task light. He could see. But there was no on off switch. He had to plug it in to turn it on and unplug it to turn it off. And what if he wanted to control the brightness of the LEDs? What would he do? What would he do? Find out, coming up next on Mikey Makey. If you're watching this, you might have seen my original LED strip light video. This video is an update to that project. I'll add a link to that original video in the description below. I bought this LED dimmer switch on eBay for $5.80 and free shipping. It arrived in about a week. It's pretty simple. There's a knob to control the brightness and four wiring terminals, a positive and a negative connection for the power input, and the same for the power output. I cut the wires I needed to connect this to my LED setup, and I screwed them into the wiring terminals. As a side note, when I upgrade my camera at some point, I'm definitely getting one where the LCD can flip all the way around so I can see what I'm filming. I keep getting myself in the way of the shot, and I don't realize I've done it until it's too late. I held the switch up to the bottom of my desk where I wanted to mount it, and I used a black marker to mark where the screws would go. Then I used a drill bit with a stop collar installed to pre-drill the screw holes. The stop collar just keeps you from drilling too deep. I didn't want to drill through the top of the desk. Then I added four short screws that I had lying around to mount the switch under the desk. This is the connector that originally attached my LED lights to the 12 volt DC adapter. I removed the connector, and then I spliced the wires from the out section of the dimmer switch. In other words, electricity will come out from the dimmer switch to power the lights. And then I connected the wires from the in section of the switch to that same connector. Electricity will come into the dimmer switch from the same 12 volt DC power supply that I was already using. I soldered the splice wires to make the connection more permanent. And I covered the exposed ends with electrical tape. I used hot glue to tack the new wires to the underside of the desk, just like I did in the original installation video. And here's how the final product works. The switch is located under the left edge of my desk and offers pretty precise control over the amount of light, from fully on to fully off, and anywhere in between. This will be useful to me when I'm recording video at my desk with either my camera or my webcam. Thanks for watching! My original LED video has gotten more views than any of my other videos by far, and I appreciate everyone who watched that and left kind comments. I have more LED projects on the horizon, and I hope that if you're new to my channel, you'll subscribe to see the future videos. I'll see you next time!